Hi, I'm Greg Scott, and I'm a senior technical account manager with Red Hat, and customers ask us all the time about how to log support cases, and so what I thought I'd do is just make a video and, and just uh, take you through a demo and show you how to do one. So without uh, further ado, let's go to our screen share, and right there, and don't worry about my OBS Studio uh, mirror, mirror looking at a mirror looking at a mirror. Let's just let's let's uh, minimize that, and uh, let's log a case. So the um, the preferred way to do this is on the Red Hat website, on your customer portal website. Go to access.redhat.com right there and log in. Now I've already logged in, so you can see I'm Greg Scott and I'm an internal Red Hat employee. And um, let's uh, let's just log a case. So see this menu right up here. Let's uh, click on support cases, and 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 let's let it think for a minute, and uh, um, let's open a new support case. So we'll click on the button right there and open a support case. Uh, let's make this window a little bit bigger too, so we can see uh, see what we need to see here, see what's going on. Um, so let's open a support case. There's my account number, and every customer will have a different account number, and, and I'm internal to Red Hat, but you'll have your own customer name, and this is who I am and my, my uh, customer portal username. And let's select a product. I think, I'm gonna, I think I'll, I'll uh, log this case about, uh, let's just call it OpenStack. OpenStack, 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 one word. There you go. And uh, let's fill that in. And let's pick a version. Now this is a pretend case, so you're going to see a lot of satirical answers here. Let's pick a version. And what type of a case is it? Let's call it, um, it's a configuration issue, let's say. I don't know how to configure something, let's say. Now this is Im these fields are important. I'm going to give you goofy answers, but the, uh, the problem statement, give the support team a good problem statement. Give them something they can work with. This is a, this is a test problem statement. You can do better than that. I should give them a give them a good problem statement that describes what's going on and then this next field is important too. Tell us details about the issue. What's broken? How is it broken? What steps have you taken to solve the problem? How should it work if it doesn't work properly right now? <coughs> Pardon my cough. So we'll just fill this in with anything. Um, the stuff doesn't work I expect it to work to work properly. You would not believe how many cases we get that, that, that have this kind of stuff. Where are you experiencing behavior? Here's the wrong answer. Don't just say production. That doesn't tell us anything. That doesn't do us any good. Um, in the data center, in center, in center, in... Um, Webster City, Iowa. I have no idea if there's data centers in Webster City, Iowa or not, but I just know it's a small town. And when does the behavior occur? These, these are common sense questions, but they, they help the team get to an answer. Don't, um, when does the behavior occur? Um, how often? T certain times a day? Um, when it occurs? When the full moon falls? Tuesday. If you're a Star Trek fan and like games of Royal Fizzbin. And what else, what, what other information can we do about the timeline and time frames and business impact? Um, the, the problem shuts our company down. It's really, really, really bad. Give better statements than that. I'm doing a test case, so I'm giving you satire, but give better um, better than that. And then attach files. This is where you've collected SOS reports, right? Before you log the case, say yes. You've got SOS reports. Maybe you've got screenshots. Maybe you've got logs. This is where you attach all that stuff. I'm not for test purposes. I'm not going to attach anything, but this is where you would do it. And then support level. I'm a Red Hat employee, so I get perks. I'm always premium. You'll be you'll be either premium or standard. Um, but let's just select premium. And then what's the severity level of our case? 
and you can see here the uh, the possibility severity one two three and four severity one is it's broken our it's super duper high impact our company is shut down and there's no workaround so and then severity four is um, I have a question I'd like to answer but I don't know I, I just help me out answering it here's the official um, in a different tab here's the official um, description of severity ratings and notice that's there there's the URL to get it <clears throat> um, from low impact all the way up to critical impact so we're logging a case let's give our case because I'm doing this test I'm doing this test so let's just give this a severity level of one and that means the support team the, the clock is gonna tick the support team has an hour to get back to me and um, if um, some severity one level cases if your premium are 24 7 and so we don't expect you to be to be awake 24 7 so who's the business who's your contact at your customer site during off hours I happen to be in North America so let's say let's say at, at midnight on Saturday night who's the contact I should talk to and that should be H A R V E Y H O S S E N P F H E F F E R Harvey Hassenpfeffer, good of a name as any. Now you'll use the name of a real person, of course. And then if you want any any additional people to get email notifications, here's where you fill that in. And if you want anybody from Red Hat to watch it, here's where you'd fill to watch the case, here's where you'd where you'd fill that in. And then this case group field. Case groups are are just fields in a case um, that you can use as you see fit. There's a person inside your company who has a role called org admin, and that person can do anything they want inside the portal for your for your company. And one of the things they can do is set up case groups. And so maybe um, maybe manufacturing ha uh, logs cases and manufacturing logs cases and R and D logs cases, and maybe there's a satellite office in London and they log cases. And we and we and you want to know which cases come from which groups. That's, you'd set up case groups like that, and then people in the different offices that log cases would fill in, would fill in, would select the drop down and fill in this field um, of appropriately. And so now we've we filled out our fields, and let's uh, let's submit. Oh, one other field I want to show you about this field called consultant engage. This is actually important. If if you've got a consultant on site from Red Hat working with you on a project, check. Be sure and check this checkbox. That gives your case a little bit of extra visibility because we've got your, your because we, you've got a consultant on site who's depending on this on this um, on this resolution. So if there's a consultant, check that checkbox. Okay, we filled out our fields, and you filled out your fields with real answers, not satire the way I filled out my fields. Let's submit the case, and so we're going to submit it. Now, and I like this pop-up. This is a reminder. You haven't attached any files to this case. Are you sure you want to submit it this way? That, that's how important we think those SOS reports and logs and screenshots, that's how important those are because that's the data that the support teams use to diagnose your problem. In my case right now, I'm going to submit it without because this is just a test case. When you open cases for real, attach stuff to your cases. So let's submit it, and that's going to think for a second, and and drum roll please and well we'll just have to be patient here eventually it's going to come there it finally comes so there's our case it's logged and here's our case number that's that case number is going to be important keep keep that case number handy so now we've we've logged a case i logged a severity one case the one hour sla time clock is ticking and this um, uh, some automation is going to assign that to the right support person here's what's going to happen next you might get an automated response asking for logs and asking for additional information. And by the way, if you see a response that comes from somebody named Edmund Abbott, Edmund Abbott's not a real person. Edmund Abbott is just automation. I think we've fixed all that now to where it actually says it's an automated response. But just in case you see Edmund Abbott, <laughs> don't get into a discussion back and forth with Edmund Abbott because Edmund Abbott is not a real person. I want to show you one other thing. You've logged the case. You've logged the case, and let's say it's you know let's say it's um, four o'clock in the morning, and it's Sunday morning, and this is really critical. You've got an out. You, you're you're in the middle of an upgrade, and you've got to be done by six o'clock before everybody comes into work. Let's say so. We need to talk to somebody on the phone because we need to communicate that this that this problem is uh, is important. So we go down here to contact us, and I've already opened this in a different tab. 
contact us and here's all the different ways to contact people and you can and I've selected technical support let's put that in this tab if you're in North America right here there's the phone number 888 go red hat or the um, in, in uh, North Carolina if you're in Europe uh, there's the phone number <clears throat> different different countries different ways to call if it's if it's in, if you've logged the case and it's important you want to talk to somebody right now Call the number, and the dispatchers will try to connect you uh, connect you with the right people. And um, I want to show you one other thing right here. You've logged the case. You've talked to people. You're not getting the response you need. Let's say you can go here and you can fill out this form and ask for a ask for a for a manager to look at it. Now. Red Hat takes these active customer escalations seriously. Don't be trivial about this. It, this is a tool to use if you need it. Please don't abuse it because if you abuse it, you hurt your credibility. If you need it, it's it's available for you, and you'll get managers on duty. And the managers will really the managers will work 24/7 to find somebody to help you out right now. Use use your good judgment on on um, active customer escalations. Okay, now I've logged the case. We've sent the we've sent the description in. What happens next? You'll get an email response right away with with the with the case that you've logged, and then you'll you'll hear from people on the support team, and you'll go back and forth by email. Now I want to give you a hint here. You'll get an you'll see in your inbox the uh, ongoing list of case comments, and um, um, you'll um, under under the case discussion you'll just see all these different comments back and forth, newest on top, and you'll also see those by email. A lot of people reply to the email, and their email replies go back into the case. Here's what happens, though: that whole trail, that whole email chain goes back into the case. So, if uh, the, make it easy on everybody, try to do your case comments right here in the case discussion instead of by email. Now, there's there's times when you're not when you when you have to do it by email. Maybe you're on a cell phone or something like that. But it, it, whenever you can. Keep your case discussions inside here in the comments. That helps everybody keep straight what's going on when. And that's that's how to log a case. Let's go back here. Thanks for putting up with me. That's how to log a case, and that's what happens back and forth when you do it, and that's kind of how the process works. Questions, whatever, just give us a call, and we'll be happy to talk about more. Thanks for putting up with this video.